So you gotta pay for this. But when I tell you JT in Miami, eight the verses up, period. Y'all know what time it is, I got the black bean neck on. y'all welcome to another king reese video happy tuesday it is april girl april 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 girl i'm probably in memphis tennessee by the time y'all are seeing this Purr. but girl we got a couple things to talk about in this king reese video i am so excited to do it to get it on out of the way because girl the grammys came on last night the grammys and when i tell you I'm actually very proud to see my baby. I'm so proud to see little Nas X get on that stage. It was just, I told y'all long ago. Homeboy was tap dancing. You can tell he's been practicing. I've been practicing. Grab us off beat. But um, definitely want to get into all these things. We got to talk about the Grammys. We got to talk about this Amazon union that's going on in New York. Shout out to the folks up there, period. Girl, they, they folks say, girl, enough is, is enough. Like, you multi billion dollar companies, y'all gonna pay. Pay or shut up, period. Also, got to talk about Kanye West um, dropping out of Coachella. They got to find a replacement. This situation with Black China. Girl, Black China talked all that, man. <laughs> Talking about letting them cars go and come to find out she only keep her child one day a week. <laughs> girl. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta get into all of this, but before we get into anything, let's go ahead and get into this mental health check-in. As you all know, I already told you I do a weekly journal over at Patreon. If you're not subscribing to Patreon, girl, you are missing out. This episode of my um, journal was really, really good. Talked about some, some things going on, how far I, like, I am where I'm at, like with a lot of things, and it felt very therapeutic. I love my folks over there. Also, um, some stuff that I'm working on, a video about um, who the title, I don't even want to give it to y'all right now, but it is, what's Cardi B right about Nicki Minaj? Ooh, and that's going to be on Patreon with a special guest that y'all love so much. So make sure you're subscribing. It's got a lot of content. It's beginning of the month. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, and that's all I got. Mental health is, girl, she kind of weebly wobbly this week, honey. But we're going to see. I can't wait to get home to see my family. I haven't seen them since Thanksgiving. Um, and I haven't been in Memphis since October. So, girl, I can't wait to get my ass on that plane. She on the plane right now. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into the tea for today. The tea for today is I am sick and tired. Sick and tired. Oh, my God. So, we watched the Grammys last night. Last night, girl, I am so tired of hearing about the slap. I don't. Quest Love got up there. And I was like, girl, please, like, girl, please. I know, give Quest Love his moment, period. Leave the slap conversation out. Then you had a reading Rainbow Girl there talking about this. I just like, can we just move past the slap? Because honestly, the only conversation I'm interested in about the slap at this point is, where is Jada's apology? Where is Jada's apology? Because I'm not seeing it. Like, she's not getting an apology from any of the stuff, but everybody else, is focusing on what they think is traumatizing for them. Like Amy Schumann got up there talking about, oh my gosh, this is just so much, but was ready to make a joke about a um, person on set being killed. Like, girl, like, y'all are not okay. Um, so, yes, the Grammys, girl, she did what she did. Jasmine Sullivan got her awards point blank, Piriana. Piriana, Jasmine Sullivan definitely deserved. They said this is, um, actually, Hotels is not Jasmine Sullivan's best project. Um, they said that her, what was the other one? Reality show was it. Y'all tell me which one was better. Hotel, reality show, and it was another one that she, that, that she had, the son was stuttering. That somebody told me to listen to, but I, they on punishment this month. So, um, I won't be listening to that. But, <laughs> but, Jasmine Sullivan is a very talented artist. She is talented, point blank, period. If the Grammys did not give her her award, she definitely deserves it, point blank, period. Um, I, I like As much as we were just happy to see her get her award, I kind of was like, this doesn't really say that Jasmine Sullivan, you know, even if I could just, there's so much stock into the Grammys that I just hate to be put into it, but as far as like industry, I definitely get it. But Jasmine Sullivan is talented without a Grammy. And I think we just start giving that to our black artists is that they're talented without this. Um, and you don't need these these right rep, like these right institutions acknowledging you for you to be great. But I, I love that for her. Definitely congratulations to her, SZA, and my girl Doja Cat. Doja, 
um, one for Kiss Me More, and the BTS fans were jumping out and being anti-black. Girl, y'all love that K-pop stuff over there. I stay away from this K-pop. Y'all keep her over there yonder, like my grandma be saying. Keep that over yonder. I, it's just, it's too much anti-blackness in it for me. Like the stand base was just being very ugly to SZA and um and um Doja Cat. It was it was just I, I was like they were mad boots. Now that performance, Butter, she was you know she was cute, but I just I it just it doesn't do anything to me. It, <laughs> like it's not what it's, I'm about to say to make drunk because it just. It just don't be given to me, but you know, it's cute for what they're giving. I think they definitely get theatrics and stuff and all that, but I just don't really care. I just rather watch my black folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just if I want to see that, I just watch black people. <laughs> Girl, they're gonna eat me up and it's fine. Uh, but little Nas got on that. I told y'all long ago on the road. I got what your way in my tell he's been working on his dancing, he was improving, even on the red carpet, he was he was comfortable. He was talking to Laverne Cox. It was giving. He was moving. The outfits were slain. The hair was amazing. I think he's refreshed after his um, social media break. And I'm glad that he took a break. I'm glad that artists are learning when to take breaks. Like, girl, log off. Take a break. Not because your husband did something, but just take a break. Point blank, period. Um, and um, like his performance was cute. I think this was the best little Nas. Um, performance that he's ever done so shout out to him I, like I can tell he's just been working on himself and getting it um, and getting that stage presence and the them girls was up there dancing and the do-rags and stuff it was giving the things it was a set look good it was just all of that um, like continue innovative all the other stuff Olivia Rodrigo is that the girl who did the driving license song it is Greg y'all gonna end up making me like her and I really don't like that for me but I'm, I might listen to Drive License on the way home. I might listen to it on the way to Memphis. Uh, we gonna see, but I'm not driving, I'm flying, girl. I'm tired of driving to Memphis. It's giving flying, bitch. Please. Uh, period. Um, yeah, but Drive, Olivia Drigo, she did her stuff. She had butterfly newspapers flying in the background. She was performing, it was giving Kit Kat boots. I loved it for her. Um, our girl, Billy Eyelash, <laughs> she got there and performed. Uh, and this was the happiest I've ever seen Billie Eilish. <laughs> Billie Eilish. She did a good job too. Her performance was really good. Um, Doja Cat getting up there accepting the award. Um, her and SZA. SZA was up there. She was walking up on crutches. She had the internet blazing her ass up. Like, like SZA, stand up, stand up. But come to find out, um, SZA did fracture her foot, her ankle or something. Um, so, folks were saying, ain't nothing wrong with her, girl. She over here walking around these heels with these crutches and stuff. Now, what's interesting, because I was like on the fence. I was like, girl, I am not finna comment on that. Because, girl, we just got to talk about, we ain't talking about folks and they stuff. I ain't finna. So, she did post a picture of her x-ray and said, like, that. she thought her, her leg was, her foot was sprung or something. Spring, she sprung or something. But come to find out, it was fractured. So, um... The girls were saying that she just don't want to perform. That's why she had the crutches. She had the crutches, she had the so she needed a little support. But I think the main reason why folks was eating her up is because SZA has been known to be like a, a habitual liar. Like home credit back been called out on a couple of things for lying that she had freckles, lying about having a um, degree in biology. And some whole bunch of crazy stuff like that. Just like she just had a, a history of lying on Tumblr and whatever. Um, and they just like her. She go again. And it's like this is the one time that she was actually being honest and being true. So she posted the screenshots to prove. She said, "Girl, look, I ain't lying to y'all." So um, a shout out to them for winning their award. Doja seemed very emotional. I'm um, very happy to receive her award. So thankful because Doja been performing. Doja been out here giving it to the girls. Doja has been out. Doja! Uh, she's been out here eating it and slaying it down. Slaying the house down boots. Love that for her. Uh, so yeah, I think that was it as far as the Grammys. I don't think of any of uh, Silk Sonic. They won some stuff. I just, girl, I just, uh, the karaoke artist, I just, he don't do nothing for me. Bruno Mars don't do nothing for me. The karaoke singer, he just, I mean, he makes some hits because the girls be eating it up, but it's just, it don't give to me. I just I just don't be moved like that, but the girls love it. Um, yeah, that's all I got on there. Who else? And he just won. He swept. He swept. My guy Lil Nas X didn't take home not one for Montero, and that album was solid. 
Montero was a good album, to be honest. Like, girl, I'm still playing that, that album now. Like, and this is the first time in a long time since I played an album through, like, when it, as soon as it came out. The only album I've ever done that with in, in, the, in the earliest is, has been um, Beyonce self-titled. Drop! Like, drive around, roll up the partition, please. Like, I listened to that thing from start to finish when it first came out. Um, and, like, Lemonade, I skipped. And she had to grow on me, but you know, it was just different. But she was cute. I loved Lemonade. I think it was really good. Uh, but I think Lil Nas X should have got something. He should have got something. Oh, God. But the girls was dragging their reggae. Um, <laughs> great. It was like, how in the hell did this majority white band, reggae, win a, a, a Grammy for a reggae album? Girl, they was eating it up. They was like, girl, this ain't making no sense, girl. <laughs> like, what's going on? I don't really pay attention to it too much, but the girls was eating it up. And folks were just so shocked. I thought it was a game. I thought the girls was playing the late April's Fools, but it was like, no, man, girl, you the fool. And I pity the fool. They believe these white institutions won't do white stuff, period. Um, but yeah, girl, I think that's it with the Grammys. If I missed anything else on the Grammys um, that needs to be talked about, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure y'all are right. But that's one thing, because I just, I was in and out with Miss Grammy. So I was like, girl, a lot of these performances ain't nothing I'm watching, to be honest. But, you know, she was cute for what it gave. So let's move on to other stuff, girl. Let's talk about Cardi B winning her injunction. Cardi B has won her injunction against Tasha K, girl. It's giving Tasha K, girl, you have to delete 21 of the videos about Cardi B. And you cannot post any more stuff about her, period. They is not playing. Cardi is not playing with you, so Tasha K agreed to it, but they said even if Tasha K didn't agree to it, she was going, girl, you got, you got to do it. So, T Tasha, delete them damn videos about Cardi B and don't talk about her having nothing. Leave that girl name out your mouth. So we can just go on. I just, I, like, I, I really wish them videos would have never been produced, to be honest, but folks be lying for clout. I mean, girl, but it, you know, that's a whole nother story. I, I'm, I'm so glad I never had to make no story off of nothing. Um, I'm glad I ain't never had to do that, but it is what it is. Let's move on. Let's talk about another situation. Elon Musk has bought, what is it, 9.25% of the shares on um, Miss, Miss Twitter. Girl, this is not making me... Elon Musk has bought, he is the largest shareholder of Twitter now. And what's interesting about this is Elon was dragging Twitter at first. And then he said, you know what? I'm just gonna buy some shares. I'm just gonna so over time he just he bought shares. Now he has 9.2%. The world's richest man disclosed money that he's acquired a 9.2% stake in Twitter, sending the social media company shares up to 28% in the afternoon trading. The filing marks Musk's accumulation of common shares to March 14th. The stake is passive according to financial disclosure. So Elon Musk tweeted this, free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. Do you believe Twitter rigorously adheres to this principle? And 30% said yes, and 70% says no. Um, and girl, <sighs> This is why billionaires should not exist. This is why. Because this man being upset about Twitter doing something that he doesn't think is right, now he's able to buy enough of the shares and be able to change the rules. Like one man is able, not the collective of a couple of people, but this one man is able to buy enough to bid to persuade the company to do his bidding. That is dangerous as hell. And this is when we talk about billionaires should not exist. This is the reason why, because you have this white man who literally is trash and is using his money and his influence to try to persuade this company um, to do his bidding, like to do like a girl. Y'all not going to do that. Okay, I'm going to find a way. It's girl. I just I don't know. I don't know. And he just so petty. Oh, hi, LOL. 
Girl, the stuff I want to say, I, I can't say it. I, I just, it's just, it's, it's garbage. Mama, this is garbage, but this is dangerous. And this is why we have conversations about billionaires not existing because this man holds enough money to be able to be this powerful. And it is extremely dangerous. It is extremely dangerous. So um, I definitely kept keeping an eye on that because I'm wondering um, like what's going to happen. Like, like what is, how this is going to work with him uh, doing this? Um, Mm. I, I just don't even have any words, child. Let's move on and talk about my guy, Roland Ray. Roland Ray said that, baby. Who did? Who's dead? Besides my Chanel purse. Oh, what? I'm not dead. It never gave dead back to Twitter to announce that it's not giving dead. There was a lot of rumors going around and saying that Roland Ray, girl, I had to write my, what's the name now? There was a lot of rumors going around and saying that Roland Ray had, um, you know, he was sick, he wasn't doing well, he had passed away, da 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 And um, he had revealed that he was in a coma. Um, he said the people at the hospital took good care of him, um, and now he's feeling, you know, a little better, but he said he needs to rest and he needs to get better. But he said it's not giving dead. So, um, Roller Ray, I love you down, Boots Honey. Love you down, and you are in your recovery process, sis. But uh, for you to be getting your ass on this elevator, and you ain't got no mask on, and you sitting on the elevator with some folks, girl, put your mask. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. You need to put your mask on, girl. Protect yourself. But I'm glad that he's doing better. I do like Roller Ray. I think he's funny. I think he's hilarious. But I definitely want him to protect himself and do, just take care of yourself, girl. Like, girl, take care of yourself. Sis, um, so let's give Roland Ray, you know, all the support, all the love, and like wishing him healing and stuff. Hopefully he receives that and takes some time to himself. Because, girl, we don't need you rolling around um, trying to entertain us when you end up rolling deep. Hatcha. We want you to rest, rest your vocals, girl, so you can be able to come back. So, yeah. Um, Shout out to Roland Ray. Check out the video. Let's move on. Let's talk about um, Black China. Black China um, got her butt ate up as she should on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Man, they were eating Black China up. Black China just out of nowhere. I had to give up three cars to take care of my kids. That's the type of sacrifice I'm doing. Then Tiger said, Well, I don't know why, because I'm, you know, I have got the child money through such and such, I, so I don't understand what's going on. You only got him this weekend, so what's going on? Why would I pay child support? I take care of the child like I do everything I'm supposed to. Then Rob came and said, and I got him on the weekend, and I take care of all his medical expenses and all the other stuff, so why should I pay child support? So they done ganged up on this girl and just seriously called her a baby daddy. And what's What's funny about it, they will take this one instance of this black woman somehow benefiting from uh, like, like whatever, like uh, this one black woman is able to live a life of luxury off of, um, you know, baby daddies or whatever. And, <laughs> and like now they're just saying, see, this is, they try to use this as a moment to say that all women are like this, but like girl, this doesn't apply to you local folks. You local men, y'all at five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars a month ain't doing nothing for for no child support. So another two, three hundred dollar payments y'all make ain't doing nothing, girl. Like <laughs> ain't nobody out here living a life of luxury, rags to riches, <laughs> rags to riches. Like girl, y'all baby mamas, y'all mother, y'all child are not out here living life like that. Like we talking about these folks out here getting millions of dollars. They got millions of hundred thousands of dollars, y'all ain't got it. Uh, Cause I know they will. Like yeah, my baby mama do the same thing. No. So uh, I think it was funny because <laughs> Black China, somebody said three cars. If you had to get rid of three cars, that means that you could not afford them. If you had to get if you had to get rid of the three cars to take care of your child, that means that you couldn't afford. I'm so confused. And I'm glad they called you. I don't know what it is about celebrities trying to keep up this life that they rich and they got it all. You just ain't got it. And I know Black China ain't got it. She had a show on Zeus. They weren't paying her that much money. They probably paying her a decent, but they ain't, like she ain't out here getting no cable TV money per episode. She's doing okay. Um, 
Like, child, please. Like, girl, the, Zeus ain't no damn Netflix. <laughs> he paying your head no $80,000 per episode. Girl, please. Um, so, girl, I'm glad they ate Black China up, as they should, to be honest. As they should. It was just funny seeing <laughs> they were going on Black China. They were eating her ass up. What? What? What Tiger was doing, because I don't need Rob to be doing a what? Your white sister's already doing enough. You can't say it. You don't say it either. Because you Latina. <laughs> so, ending this, Kanye West has pulled out of Coachella. And uh, they ain't got no headliner. <laughs> Girl, he said, nope. Um, he's not doing Coachella uh, 2022. Um... The girl was saying, girl, who is going to Coachella anyway? That shit is peak, girl. Ain't nobody checking for Coachella. I'm like, girl, the white folks is going to Coachella. They're going to Coachella. I'm not going to no Coachella because I ain't got no Coachella money. And I don't like no crowds. I ain't definitely not going to no crowds. But Kanye West is pulled out. So I wonder who they going to get to headline. Who would y'all like to see headline? Since who can go? They going to get Travis Scott. Where I asked the riches, um, I don't know. Who can they get? I'm really thinking who they can get last minute because Coachella is like a couple of weeks away. Who they going to get? I wonder how does that affect him? Like, does he have a pair of claws or something? Pay it. Like, what is that? What is that giving? I don't know. I don't know, girl. That's honestly a little conf confusing, to be honest. Hmm. So if y'all can ask somebody, tell me who y'all know. Let's move on to the end story. Emma how Amazon warehouse workers in New York made history voting for a union. Girl, Amazon, girl, Christian, Christian Smalls, girl, they shook Amazon to its core. Baby, they was trying to fire this man. They were trying to get rid of this man, and this man said, no, girl, I'm finna band together, I'm finna get the people together, and we finna do some work. And these were folks like standing together, doing all this stuff. Like there was even leaks of the email saying that he was not smart enough to be able to do too much. So we ain't got to worry about him. This man went against this billion dollar company with the people backing him and the people what's name and was able to get this union. Like, girl, it, it, it's, it's a shift of something happening. I don't know what, what is the impact of it. But people are tired. People are exhausted. They are tired. Amazon CEOs or Amazon folks at the top know that these people are not working at Amazon for no 10, 15, 20 years. Like it's not giving that. These folks are working this for like six months, probably less than that, and they are quitting. And Amazon is steady burning through people. They're burning through folks. They're not able to keep people long term. They're not paying enough. These folks are not getting no breaks. They are working the hell out of these folks. And it's just not right. Like, after Christian Smalls was fired two years ago from Amazon Warehouse in New York City following his participation in a walkout over his pandemic response, an executive at the company suggested undercutting his organizing efforts by painting him as not smart or articulate when Smalls' newly established organization garnered enough interest to hold a union election at the faculty this, this year. A spokesperson for the tech giant initially cast doubt on the legitimate of the signatures indicating support and when the election went forward Amazon engaged in a full-blown campaign to combat the union drive including text messages signage and required group meetings to convey its anti-union message to workers this is the company working against the employees benefit like so when we see Amazon do um, Amazon cares and Amazon out here doing these music things and they put paying like this is all to protect the like protect the brand and this image, so they don't look like a bad, they're bad people. But they are bad. They are literally bad because they are putting profits above people. And I actually am working on a video um, right now to talk about the um, how corporations and stuff are using specific language and stuff on social media to build this like this image. Like they are just regular people when they are a multi-billion dollar corporation that's working the hell out of folks. So I'm glad this this um, young man was able to do this and, and get this stuff done. Like this is amazing. This is, whoo, girl. This this it's it's a story. I definitely will be following and paying attention to it. 
and talk about it more because I want folks to understand, especially folks who are walking here, watching and works at like places and stuff and need to understand and things because this is this is something that really got to my interest, and especially considering where the world is at right now, how expensive it is to just live. Uh, we are barely surviving right now. So that's my thoughts on that, girl. I hope y'all enjoy all the topics on this Kenya Reese video. I love y'all so much. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, and I'll talk y'all later on tonight. Bye.